What's up everyone? This is Amy from TUCO77 and today we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you how to restore or recover your Samsung Vibrant. So you're gonna be going back to stock wherever you are um what and if you root it or not, you're gonna go back to stock. You'll be unrooted, you will go to it back to Android 2.1 Eclair. So anyways, why would someone do this? That's because just for fun or they wanna go back to stock or they break their phone break means like it doesn't work no more like every time you try and turn it on it shows you a triangle with an with an excellent exclamation mark inside it and then it shows you like three four like four five dots and then it shows your computer after it that means your phone is brick how do you recover it like this so anyways um i'm just uh, we, we're gonna see the phone of course how to do it of course because like well, we're gonna do stuff with the phone but first all you need to do just go to just open the files you 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 um you download it from the description which is odin right here and then two other files uh, so let's go ahead and open odin so when you open it you should see something like this for the pit you're gonna put well, let me show you this one the dot pit file and for the PDA you're gonna put the other one which is the dot tar file so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you from my phone or like the camera my bad the camera how to do it all right so the colors my change and everything anyway so let me show you You've opened, oh, you've opened Odin. So now what you gotta do is, of course, get a USB cable and your phone. Again, why would someone do this? Um, I think I mentioned it before, but here I'm gonna show you. And you might just wanna do it for fun. You might just don't wanna do it. You do it for no, like yeah, for 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 no reason. Or you just wanna go back to stock. Oh, this happened to you. See this? Yup. So that means your phone is bricked, and this is how you recover it. All right. So, anyways, here is my phone. It's kind of brick. So now we're gonna unbrick it. Let's do it. All right. Now, take off your battery for about five seconds. Make sure your cable is connected right here. Um. Now, after you make sure you got no SIM card nor an SD card. Or neither an SD card. So now just put it back in the battery. You could use a stock battery. You don't need a special battery. Like you could use um this battery right here. Hold on, let me get it. You could use this battery. If you don't hear, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna just show y'all that you could use it. This is just an extended battery for a bigger stuff. You could you could use this one too if you have it. I'm gonna just show you with a stock battery. That's kind of better. Anyways, now put it back in. Now, what you gotta do is, while holding the up and down volume buttons here on the right, let's hold them down. Hold them down at the same exact time. Plug it in, and then you should see this. Or downloading mode, depending if your phone is breaking or not. Place your phone on your, on your laptop or computer, and then you should see the yellow thing up there on the... Um, on on the Odin thing, see this yellow thing right here. It should it could say any number, depending on what you have. Now let's select our pit files. Make sure those two are checked. Select our pit files, which are the pit file is S1 Odin number dot pit, and this PDA file T959. It depends what the build number is. Now let's click start. Start. So that it should show you modem, then after like a second or two it should show you factory F S so it should show you a line a, a, a yellow I mean my bad a blue line down there and right there it should show you the factory apps which is currently going. So anyways do not unplug the um the cable please. Why am I even saying please just don't I'm unplug the cable well if you unplug the cable while doing this you'll break your phone just like I did how did I break my phone well right now actually I'm using the Google Nexus 4 and the Galaxy SD and everything so I'm just trying to flash some custom ROMs on this oh yeah by the way it should have um filled up right here 
so I'm using my um, Nexus 4 and the other phones a lot so what I'm trying to do on my vibrant is just like make custom ROMs or try custom ROMs it should feel more now try custom ROMs random custom ROMs net like well-known custom ROMs and everything and then after I tried them I tried one I'm not mentioning it or I actually forgot which one I was trying and then it just breaked itself so it could happen no worries and now it should say the data as the kernel then it's done it should say reset yeah and now we'll come back to stock Now I should show you the annoying T-Mobile sound. Well, I don't know if it's annoying to you, but it kind of annoys me. No offense, T-Mobile. Like, my Galaxy S3 is from T-Mobile. I made a mistake and bought it from T-Mobile. Hey, no offense again, man. All I'm trying to say is, I should have bought the unlocked version because I brought it up. See the annoying sound? Because, uh, like, I bought it for 600 bucks because, like, in the US, it's really hard to find the, um, the Galaxy S3 unlocked. So I just went... I just passed by T-Mobile and I just bought the Galaxy S3 from there. I was I was in a hurry. I should have I, I should have waited a little bit. Then I would have or I would have bought the unlocked version, cause like you get the foot kill. Cause the T-Mobile one still didn't get the um the what was that again? I forgot the premium suite. Premium suit depends how you say it. Premium suite upgrade so what can I what should I say T-Mobile better hurry up doing it and it's kind of like I'm too late doing this video I wanted to do this video a long time ago I, I even did it before but I included it in my other channel and in my other video when my voice was like a girl it's still kind of like a girl but it's not soft like it was like in one of my videos I sounded like a five-year-old Damn, that was cool. Anyway, so now you're back stock. You could unplug the cable and you could even pla place this back on. I don't even know why I didn't place it on. And welcome back stock. So it's running into 4.1. I mean, 2.1. My bad. I was like 4.1. The heck. Um, everything is from all the way back. Let's go to settings and let me show you. Software update in mind. Um, see, it's running Android 2.1 Jolly Bean. Well, it's kind of happy to be back in stock for just for a moment. Yeah, because like I'm gonna go back to not stock again. So, yeah, and yes, stock is kind of cool, even though it's the older TouchWiz. Good old days, huh? They got sued for this icons. So and and it could do really cool stuff. I, I like the camera features where you get the add me one, not the vintage. The add me feature where let's say here I got an anchor battery. Let's say I put it down there. Let me just show you. So here's an anchor battery. Take a picture of it. Hold on. We just place it. Right. Yep, it worked. See, I got now two anchor batteries. Take a picture of myself, two of me, put it on Facebook. Oh my god, I got a twin. Or I clone myself, depends. So that's really cool, even though I got one. So this was Amin from TUCO77 and I'm going to be showing you more stuff about the Vibrant. I'm going to make a whole playlist how to flash and install stuff. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you won't. If you don't want to subscribe then well, I'm not forcing you to but subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye bye.